Seven months after the military's COVID-19 vaccine mandate was repealed, debate continues over the impact it had. At a Capitol Hill hearing, House Republicans argued that military recruitment and retention have been negatively affected by the revoked order. Mike Gooding has the latest. According to Defense Department data, more than 2 million service members are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. The 2023 National Defense Authorization Act revoked the department's vaccine requirement. National media outlets have reported that over 8,300 military service members have been discharged due to noncompliance. And according to testimony Thursday before the Republican-led House Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Pandemic, another 19,000 troops remain unvaccinated. Not only did these mandates damage Americans' trust in public health and in vaccines and cause people to lose their jobs, they also negatively affected our military. The Chief of Naval Operations issued a policy that threatened religious objectors with the loss of their careers, potentially crippling debt, and involuntary separation. But Democrats on the panel defended the mandates. These policies allowed us to safely reunite loved ones, reopen schools, businesses, and workplaces, enhance our military readiness, and reach the end of the public health emergency. Despite every effort QAnon and Republicans did to generate fear and undermine confidence in the vaccine. Meanwhile, Texas Senator Ted Cruz's proposal to reinstate service members discharged for refusing the vaccine was voted down in the Senate Wednesday on a 46 to 53 vote. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Defense Department data shows that 96 military members have died from COVID-19. When you add in DOD civilians, employees, dependents and contractors, that number jumps to 690.